And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge this time. Don't use client side. Description, can you break into this super secure portal? And then we get a link. And this is a fun website. You guys probably haven't seen something like this, but I can remember back in the day when I first started working, you get a lot of sites like this where it was like a, a company intranet portal and the fact that it was so minimal made everybody think it was secure. So when we inspect, I brought this up just by clicking inspect, what we can see is we can see a script and it's taking a value from the element pass, it's getting its value, and then it's doing a series of if statements. And the ifs are checking on different little chunks. So we can see check pass dot substring from zero to split, where split is four. So this is looking at the first four characters and it's asking, is it equal to Pico? Then this next guy, and, and if it's not, then we fall into this else statement and it says incorrect password. Here, I'll just quickly show you guys. So what we need to do is we need to satisfy every if statement. So the next one is if split, which is again four, four times six is 24, up to 28 equals this, then we continue through. All right, so let's, let's grab all these chunks by looking at them and saying, well, this goes from zero to four. Okay, so that's a start. Then the next one goes from four until eight. And then we need to go from uh, 12. Yeah, oh, no, I, I skipped from eight to 12 and then so, so all I'm doing is I'm joining the last end. So this one ended in split. Now I'm looking for the next one that has split in it. This guy has split as its start. Let me, let me look at the source because this, this highlighting is actually making it harder. So here is split and here's split. And now it goes to split times two. So now we're interested after we're done with this and then one that starts with split times two, this one goes to three. All right, you get the idea. So I'm going to start transcribing this right now. I'm PICO, then we need to go to the next chunk. We go CTF, and we go to the next guy, NO underscore C. That ended at split times three. LIN, that ended at split times four. Split times five. So this one starts at split times five. Split times six. Yeah, this is kind of mind numbing, but it's not, it's not large enough that it makes sense to invest the time in automating it. So let's try that. No clients, please, is what it seems to be saying. Verify, password verified. All right, so let's submit it and let's talk briefly about the hint. So never trust the client. What this is telling you is anything that's on the client side can be manipulated or seen by the client. So whenever you're doing anything that's sensitive, like dealing with a password, you should always have all that handling happen only on the server side. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, you can help me out by liking, subscribing, commenting, hitting the bell. Thanks a lot. Bye.